Hi everyone, welcome to Zainer's NEET PG 2022 information series. The All India PG Medical Counseling Round 1 choice filling is expected to start tomorrow for government, deemed and DNB seats. Most of you would be in uh, some stage of preparing your preference orders uh, and uh, looking at looking forward to choice filling tomorrow. In this video, we'll take you through how Zynert can help you either validate your already uh, uh, finalized, uh, already uh, drafted preference orders, or if you haven't done your preference orders yet, uh, you can look at Zynert's data to look at the closing rank preferences of candidates of last year, the fee stipend and bond against each of the seat that was available last year, and also the seats that are going to be available this year in the seat matrix. And we also have a smart uh, choice filling feature where the seat matrix would be displayed exactly in the same format and the, the same exactly the same choices as you would see in all india counseling and you will be able to fill in those choices as well so uh, we will start with looking at the closing ranks how that can help the closing ranks tabs will have information on complete allotments and uh, of, of all the set of seats that were available last year in All India Counseling in 2021-22 session and their closing ranks. Uh, you will go into All India Counseling, which is relevant for tomorrow's, uh, uh, for the choice filling that is expected to start tomorrow, that is 20th of September. And you will see all the seats that were allotted last year in the uh, in a sorted format in the order of closing ranks. So since last year there were multiple rounds, what you can do is first select round one and round two so that it is very clear. The preference orders are very clear till round two. Some seats were available in the mop-up, which may give you a different preference order. So if you select round one and round two, all the seats would be sorted according to the closing rank of round two. You'll see that Seth GS Mumbai was the first to be first to close at rank five, all India rank five. And you will see all these columns, which quota the seat belong to, which category and the uh, which course it is and the fees type and bond and penalty details of all the institutes you will see the bets also against each of the institutes uh, in case you're looking at a dnb institute you'll be able to see this as well so now this will give you a complete list of all closing ranks of last year along with the fee stipend and bond details. If you wish to look at what quotas you are eligible for, you can always click on this link and look at what quotas you are eligible for. All are eligible for All India quota and if you have selected deemed, you will be eligible for deemed quota. And everyone who has selected a DNB would be eligible for DNB post MBBS and NBE diploma quotas. Uh, so uh, this is a basic thing and you will have them as closing rank. Uh, in sorted in closing rank orders. We will look at the seat matrix uh, option so that it will give you an idea of uh, to uh, elaborate in detail on what uh, we would, uh, what option you would have uh, to fill your uh, choices and how uh, smartly you will be able to pull out information to fill out your choices. Now we have taken 2021 seat matrix as an example and we'll be taking you through the entire choice filling process. The 2022 seat matrix will be uploaded in the portal immediately after the seat matrix is uploaded by uh, MCC. It will take us only around two hours to three hours max to upload the seat matrix as long as it is in proper format. Uh, now, once uh, the seat matrix is uploaded, we'll upload the entire seat matrix. This is a demo based on 2021's round one seat matrix. We'll filter out round one seat matrix of 2021 and we will uh, uh, look at how we'll be able to help uh, get information for filling in choices let's say you're looking at the top choices you are interested in radio diagnosis you will just filter out on radio diagnosis you can check radio diagnosis you will have all the seats under radio diagnosis of this year once 2022 is uploaded so similarly for round one of 2021 whatever was there under radio diagnosis you have this uh, over here and the number of seats will also be available over here you might belong to a particular, you might be interested only in the particular quota. Let's say you're interested only in All India quota, you can filter out an All India quota. And if you are belong to a particular category, let's say you belong to general category, you will be able to filter out on general category and see all the seats that are available in the general category. So what uh, I'll uh, skip this for the time being so that it is easy for you to look at uh, the information. So all you will have is all the seats. Seth GS Mumbai was available and the closing ranks of previous years of those seats in sorted order. So what will this give you? Radio diagnosis. The first one to be clo to close last year was Seth GS Mumbai. And you can always click on this to filter out the fee and factors. Uh, basically the fee, the hostel fee, if it is available, the seat leaving penalty, the stipend uh, for one, two, three, and the bond penalty and any other remarks that you wish to look at. Uh, uh, what we suggest, this is a very... Uh, 
crucial thing what uh, what we would do is we would resort them all by round two so that it is easy for you last year round four and round five were not relevant so we will sort this entire thing by round two and it will be easy for you to get to understand all the details let's say i want to know fee details i want to filter out on the fee range i want don't want any institute which is greater than a particular fee range i'll be able to do that i'll take the example of deemed institutes and then uh a uh, deemed quota, which is MNG quota, deemed management quota. And then we let's say you're looking at radio diagnosis. You belong to a particular rank range. All seats under deemed come under general category. So I'll filter that out. Now I want to look at all institutes which, less, which are less than 30 lakhs. I'll just fill in 30 lakhs over here. And you will be able to see all the seats that are available, which are below 30 lakhs and the order in which they were they closed last year. As of now, it is a different order, not in round two sorted order, but we will be sorting that out. And once the new seat matrix is up, you'll be able to see all seats in sorted order. So this will give you the preferences of last year for choice filling. This you can do for any option in any state. You can filter out anything. Let's say you just want to look at Assam and you want to look at general surgery within Assam. Uh, I will filter out on general surgery. I am not, I'm looking at general surgery. I want all general surgery seats in Assam and the order in which I should, uh, I'm looking at, uh, I have no idea of the order or I already have an order and I want to validate it. Just filter on general surgery and the category that you're interested in. Uh, usually general category will give you the preference orders in sorted order. And you will see that, you will see a trend that these are the seats, uh, these seats close first, Gawati Medical College close first, and then there might be a trend that is possible, available, which will help you decide on which seats to take first. You will know that last one was Tezpur to close uh, in most of the cases, and then you can take a decision. This is based on round two. We will be sorting it by round two. Similarly, you, let's say you don't want any institute which has a bond, filter out on bond. You will have, uh, you, you hear there are no institutes in Assam which doesn't have, you have filter out on Assam, so you'll not have any such uh, 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 institutes let's say you don't uh, you're not looking at assam but you're looking at uh, all other states you filter out on institutes which are don't have a bound you'll have the delhi institute andhra pradesh and some uh, central institutes etc which don't have a bond so you can also filter out on beds or bond penalty i don't want an institute which has a bond penalty of more than uh, 10 lakhs you will be able to filter that out so every information is available at the click of a button you will be able to filter out and fill in your choices the thing is when you are looking at categories and courses just understand what each quota is aq refers to all india quota dnb refers to dnb post mbbs and when you are clicking on dnb post mbbs and selecting institutes for which which come under dnb post mbbs just know that all institutes which are dnb institutes would have a pin code at the end for example, Andhra Medical College may offer both DNB seats as well as uh, uh, Andhra Medical College may offer both, uh, sorry, uh, 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 RN Cooper, for instance, may offer both DNB seats as well as as well as MDMS seats. This was a, this happened last year where RN Cooper had a few DNB seats as well as MDMS seats. So in that case, so you will be able to see both DNB seats as well as MDMS seats if you select course as uh, a course type, uh, degree type as MDMS, you will be able to see all MDMS seats or just select quota as All India quota for government seats, you will be able to see all the MDMS seats. In case you want DNB post MBBS, you will have to select DNB post MBBS and note here that uh, RN Cooper may have the is a different institute. Uh, the hospital is different, and so select RN Cooper, the one with the pin code, which will be the DNB Institute. The one with the pin code is always the DNB Institute, and the one without the pin code would be the medical college, which would offer MDMS seats. So if you have a confusion there, you can always list down the one with the pin code for DNB seats, or just select on DNB post MBBS, which will only give you the DNB seats. For DNB2, uh, let's say for NBMS diploma, we are looking at uh, seats. You will have all the MD, NB diploma seats which are available last year listed down and you will be able to select what course you want. Let's say you were interested in diploma in child health NB, select on diploma in child health and you will be able to see the sorted preference order based on round two closing ranks. So this was the first institute to close last year. As far as round two, is, uh, as far as round one is concerned, uh, you will have a sorted order of preferences very clearly mentioned you will be able to see all the preferences in sorted order of round two whichever ones closed earlier you will uh, if in case you don't have any idea about dch or uh, then this may give you a start we sincerely suggest that you go ahead and check with each institute 
uh, some of them may be locational preferences, uh, which uh, which is why they were allotted first. For example, let's say government headquarters hos hospital Kadalur may be a local locational preference, or in some cases there might be uh, only one seat available in one institute versus eight seats available in another institute. Therefore, the first one closed earlier. So always look at any preference orders. Uh, uh, any uh, look at preference orders, but always evaluate the seats before taking a call. And if you just want to look at fee stipend and bond year, you especially this is required for deemed universities. We have an option uh, of institute type where we can set you can select any institute. Deemed is deemed institutes. Government is government institutes which offer MDMS courses. NBE whatever starts with NBE is all institutes which offer DNB courses, NBA government institutes would be government institutes which offer DNB courses. There might be a bond in some of these institutes you can filter out. Uh, this is especially useful when you're looking at deemed institutes. 34 of the deemed institutes, total 42 deemed institutes have already updated the fee structure and that is available in Zynard. As soon as the choice filling starts, we will also look at what the information is available in, in the MCC choice filling login and update that too, even if those list of the eight institutes do not update their fee structure in their portal, we will be able to, uh, whatever is uh, up in, uh, uh, in the MCC login, you will be able to see that in Zynard as well after the choice filling starts. Now, uh, for deemed institutes, you can easily filter out on whichever state you want to look at uh, uh, any, at any point in time and also look at, let's say you're looking at the state of Karnataka, then you can filter out on Karnataka and look at particular courses. Uh, let's say you're looking at general medicine here, filter out on general medicine and you'll be able to see all the fees, the fee, entire fee for general medicine. And if you want to limit your fee structure to 40 lakhs, like uh, we mentioned again, you will be able to limit and see all the choices that are available below 40 lakhs. This is available. And under view details, always when there is a star mark over here, there might be something more to the fee structure. Please look at whatever uh, is uh, defined under the view details. For instance, we'll give you an example over here. Let's say I'm looking at... Uh, uh, Ramachandra uh, Medical College uh, and Research Institute uh, Chennai. Uh, the fee uh, uh, and I'm looking at uh, deemed and I'm looking at uh, NRA quota seats uh, over here. So I have this uh, this entire NRA quota seat fee structure which is available under uh, Sri Ramachandra Chennai and see uh, you you will see that the fee structure is $30,000 there was a star over here so uh, uh, or an asterisk mark so i came in over here and i see that the fee structure is $30,000 now there is something that is under the remarks section which clearly says total fee for 3 years is $90,000 and even though the yearly fee is 30000 the first installment of 60000 has to be paid at the time of admission and the second installment of 30000 has to be paid $30,000 has to be paid at the time of course commencement so note this in some cases for instance like let's say you look at uh, states like uh, punjab and look at government institutes in punjab you will have a star mark over the fee over here, uh, an asterisk mark, and you will be able to go in and see that year one is 1.25, year two is 1.5, and year three is 1.75. Not everything can be represented in the table. Therefore, we have represented some of this in a format. Wherever there is a, uh, an asterisk, don't miss out information under view details. You will be able to either see this under view details here or under fee and other factors in the other tab, seat matrix or closing rank star. Hope uh, this entire thing is useful for you. In case 2022 information is not available, let's say 2021 information is alone uh, available, then uh, we will be uh, we would have uploaded the 2022 information. So here you see that fee, there is a star mark against the fee. You go here, you will see SLN has not updated. So 2021 info is available and 2022 is yet to be published. We haven't updated because they are to publish the data officially we will do that if it is available in the mcc choice filling login and you will also see all deduction details once you resign after your round on upgradation round on once you move uh, join your round one and then move on to a better seat in round two what amount will be deducted for a deemed seat especially this is more relevant and the and what happens when you resign later point in time so all information is available we are still facing challenges with a few institutes as far as stipend is concerned because even within timelines over the last three months there have been issues there have been changes etc so we are trying to figure that out for at most around five to ten percentage very minimal number of institutes uh, like gujarat uh, dnb uh, stipends etc we will figure it out and get you the right information this information gets updated so so right before you fill in your choices and lock your choices, come back and look at what 
whatever choices, not because we are updating it, but because deemed institutes actually updated. There are around eight which are yet to update. And there are a lot of prospectors, state government prospectors, which are yet to come in. And in case bond changes, uh, basis the prospect as a geo is released during the time of choice filling for state government institutes we will update it so before the choice filling ends always come and have a check on Zynard on the fee stipend and bond details and then go ahead and finalize in case you have any queries there are some issues in the data uh, please uh, mail us at hello at zainer.com we'll immediately look into it connect with the candidates and update the information but as far as we know uh, we have tried our level best to gather information these are around more than a uh, 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 lacks of uh, fields which we have collated across different institutes across different category of information whatever is required for you except for seat evaluation which is factors which are individual dependent we have tried our level best to gather all information and this is available at a uh, subscription plan of 1498 plus taxes till the end of round one choice filling beyond that uh, there will be an increase in the uh, uh, entire plan pricing uh, hope uh, this is useful for you for the entire round one uh, uh, entire counseling process this will, will be available once you subscribe this will be available till the end of the choice filling process we will also come up with the allotment mapping feature where you will be able to see exactly where your competitors what other allotments across india your competition uh, uh, competitors and your fellow candidates are have got which will help you in taking decisions across all india round two this we uh, did it last year and it was a huge help for many candidates to take the right decisions in all india around to basically knowing what exactly 100 candidates above your rank range have taken in other states uh, have been allotted in other states and how predict and it is uh, uh, and uh, helps which helps you in predicting what may happen if a percentage of them move to states or uh, take an estimated guess based on actual information that is provided by us to you Thank you so much for watching. Hope this is helpful. We will also come up with additional videos on how exactly uh, to look at uh, specific areas as we move forward during the process of choice filling. Uh, this was a long video, but still, uh, I think uh, there's so much information available over here. So it was required. You can also have a look at the resources section where we update information at any point in time. There is a lot of information available here. We'll come up with that in a different video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. All the best for your choice filling.